What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game here. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. In this episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we're going to go ahead and check our apartment and see what's going on in there. Because, honestly, I do not trust anything right now. Trust is out the window right now. It's fine, though. Cottage. Hi, man. Well, somebody's going to pop up. Somebody's going to be like, hi, how are you? And I'll be like, what the heck? For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day, I was able to obtain several clues. Although, I'm not really certain if you can even call those clues. Instead, I feel like we were suffering forever from mysteries that don't even make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking about all the pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should go back, go get some sleep today, rest my mind for a while. Then, give it all I got for tomorrow. Monokuma Theater! Actually, words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with the backspace button. That is why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past where I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right. That when I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was this girl named Senior Diet Rich, and the other was a fox named Cha Cha Jr. To be honest, Cha Cha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he just stared at her boobs the entire time. That's why Senior Diet Rich would order him to steal panties, and that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged those panties he stole for Diet Rich's old underwear. Also, this time, one time, the three of us went to get to a steakhouse, and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Cha Cha Jr. proudly said, With fire! Senior Diet Rich was pretty crafty when he knew how to play Cha Cha Jr. He made Cha Cha Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it, and then he saved the drowning fawn himself. And then Cha Cha Jr. tell, I mean, tell Cha Cha, -Cha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us got together. We were living a fun life at the safari park. That's right. Until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Cha Cha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemy. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Diet Rich Sr. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could get put down Cha Cha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I said back what then. The Jeez, squirrels have it rough. There are so many natural enemies. Ahem. Don't speak a good. Now then, let's. Just I, every time that comes up, like I need to make sure that like I'm not busting through. I'm pretty sure everyone started wake. Everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to the restaurant. Ah, uh, greed. Restaurant time. Restaurant time. Time to go to the restaurant. Although, okay, there we go. Like the only thing that I am having a little bit of issue with is this camera being well. It's not even the camera's fault. It's my controller's fault. I should have replaced the controller. I literally had the means to do so, but literally didn't do it. So, it's my own fault. Anyways. Yeah, it's so weird to see that there's seven of us left. Yo, hi, Amy. Check it out. I'm already eaten. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, I might get locked in a palace. It's like, like the fun house again. So, I gotta eat whenever I can. For now. Okay, now that we finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Hey, I'm still eating here. I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. What the heck? It's okay. I'm pretty much done eating, so it's fine. You selfish little. You know, right? And of course, the main topic is about our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be. Are, are you really going to do it? Of course, I spent all night coming up with a plan. <laughs> that means that I haven't slept in for two days straight. Don't you think my effort it should count for something? Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. Well... I thought up several plans, but in the end, I figured the, that the straightforward one would be best. Uh. One of us will de be the decoy that lures Nagito into the lobby, telling him that we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, 
the two task force members will move swiftly and capture Nagito. Right. So that's the plan. What do you think? <laughs> it's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? You. So now I will present each of you with your role. Of course. Since it's my plan, I will take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey. But commander, sounds like the most fun. Hey. Hey, didn't I just say I won't let, right. let anyone object? Next, I present the two task force members. These roles going to Fujihiko and Akane. Oh, yep, sure thing. Jeez. Should've got no choice. You know, right? And the person burdened with the core of the, this plan, the decoy, that has to lure Nagito? I'll give that to Chiaki. No way. What did you just say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed with this plan in the first place. Hey, hey. It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up. You're just gonna lure him. Well... Besides, there's no way I would ask Miss Sonya to take on that such a dangerous role, you know. So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If Mihiro was here, she would have beaten you up. You. I mean, you did say earlier you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey. And I didn't just say I'm begging you. And did I just say I'm begging you? Well, why? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Fine. All right. You're gonna do it. All right. Then line up. This lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonya. I haven't... Hey, Sonya and I haven't been given a role, so what should we do? <laughs> Sonya has the role of the princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And your chore, you're on chore duty. I want you to get supply rope that we need to tie up Nagito. Denied. Whoa. Why? Listen. If Hayame has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Miss Sonya? No. Like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not. This is not a request. This is an order. That is an, an order. order, I tell you. There is somewhere I must go. Ah. Uh. Um, fine. If Hayame and Miss Sonia are, f are free this time, it's fine. That, Good. Repeat that. Damn it. If Hayame and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. To object so forcefully. Where did you need to go, Sonia? Um. I should tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you say? You're going to be alone with Hayame at, at a secret place? <laughs> For now. Damn it. We will carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems like he's dropped pretty drastically. It's it's all dispersed for now. <laughs> now then, please come by the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Sure thing. After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By that time, I made it back to my cottage and it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. She said the hotel lobby, so I hope I'm not crazy in thinking that she said that. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's what she said, so. Oh, shoot. Where are we going, Sonia? Where are you taking me? Hi, Amy. You're late. Huh? I'm right on time. What? Wait. Should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. What the fuck? For such an ordinary country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is... Oh, I see. This is a culture shock. Then I guess I can't. that can't be overlooked. So where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Well... Of course. This place pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Jabok Island's development plan. Did you find out something about it? Um, How should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild the facility on the island and use it as their headquarters. You're talking about that large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find that building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about it, a different island? Do you have a minute? Or... What if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? The second island. Well? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the Future Foundation symbol? The second island. Yup. Um, As I recall, there was an agent on the second island with such, with such symbol on the door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future Mirai was inscribed on there. If that's the case, that ruin could be connected to the Future Foundation, right? However... 
His discrepancies in this document are strange, but there is no doubt that the ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I'd completely forgotten about that locked up building, it, or after being locked up inside the funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the future foundation is incredibly high, Sonia. I knew that there was something strange about that place. Sonia, after hearing this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then I may not be I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. Shoot. We are going. We're going somewhere, folks. We are going to some crazy spots here. Oh, I literally just get to follow Sonia. Okay. I somehow had to figure out how to take Sonia out of here. Okay. So this is all kind of crazy, though, because if you think about it the way that I'm thinking about it, don't worry about Chiaki. I'm, oh my god, speaking of not worrying about things. Ooh, no, 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 no. I might have ruined things. Oh, no. I haven't checked my pet in a minute. That was close. That was really close for comfort. No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. However, well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we're here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. All right, let's start. Now that I'm taking a closer look at the door, it looks like even stranger. For a building that seems pretty run down and shabby, this door looks very high tech. Future, huh? A liquid crystal display next to the door. That's probably it. That's probably the key. This door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Please wait. We have discussed this before as well, but would it be dangerous to test it haphazardly? Well, if we make a mistake, it is possible that that, that will be fired upon. We will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason that gun is there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That is right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were to be shot by a gun like that, you would have mere holes, more holes than in you than a beet rice nest. You mean a bee's nest. You, you in my country, wrong. we use the expression beet rice nest. Anyway, right now... We definitely should test it out. I we should see. test it out recklessly. So in order to open, to open the door, we need, must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Nah, that's impossible. This door looks extremely sturdy. It is definitely better that we find the password instead. Alright, we have to do... All we have to do next is find out what that password is. It's a good thing we came here, so we could at least find that out. You're right. But the problem is, where would we obtain such passwords? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monami said that they didn't even know the password. If they really didn't know, then how are we supposed to find that out? As usual, it's still a mystery, huh? After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruins, Sonia and I decided to get back to our cottages for now. For free time! Free time! It's still the middle of the day, and it looks like we have some free time! How did we know? This chapter seems like it's going to be shorter, and that is honestly... Sketch a doodle. Um, it is absolutely sketch a doodle that this is a shorter. Okay, we have mineral water. We have this. We have. Okay, it looks like we have actually a, quite a bit of stuff. Okay, cool. Knowing that, let's look at our report cards. So of course we have Nekamaru maxed out. Of course Mikon's this bottom. The, the bottom row is dead. Sonya is at two. And Fuyuhiko's at freaking... I want to talk to Fuyuhiko, actually. I think that Fuyuhiko is the character that I... Like, Chiaki and Fuyuhiko are my two characters that I'm like, I want to know you guys a little bit more. Um, I'm not really worried about Akane. Sonya is cool as well. I don't care at all about Kazuichi. If by chance we do have four free time events left, I'm hoping we have eight, but if by chance we have four left, 
I think it might be in our best interest to max out Chiaki. I'm thinking longevity here, right? What do we have left to complete? There's two chapters left. In theory, we could have eight free times. But if I remember correctly, in the last game, we did not get a free time on the final chapter. So with that being said, we're going to get another maxing. We're going to max out Chiaki. Because Chiaki's helped us out a lot on this adventure. And I would feel wrong, in a way, to just be like, Okay, Chiaki, you're just being um, blocked. The problem and the hard part, right, is I want to get to know Fuyuhiko as well, but I just... And so I want to use one of the free times on Fuyuhiko if we have four left. And if we have eight left, then I want to spam Fuyuhiko because I actually do like Fuyuhiko. Hey, hey. Sonia's no good, but I'm okay. What is that supposed to mean? What should I do? Should I hang around Chiaki? Yeah. Yep. Sure. Well... I was going to play some games until we get ready to execute the plan, so do you want to play them with me? Sure. I spent a little time playing some games with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Sure. Well, let's give you some water. Here you go. <laughs> I feel bad, but like, it's great. Well, I can have this, thank you. Hmm. hmm. I don't think you can raise a flag with this item. Hmm. Seeing every single time, I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in a short time. Samurai head, Statue of Liberty. Ah, don't shoot the beam there. This is bad. Zombie nation eating up all the humans. She dreaming about a game. I have no idea what kind of game she's talking about. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I think I was sleeping again. Were you playing a video game in your dream too? Yeah. It was kind of a fun shooting game. I see. So you like those kind of games. Yep. I'm a pretty all-inclusive. I play things from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. Ah, uh, I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real-time strategy games, but I like turn-based ones as well. Hey, hey. So, where do you want to go anyway? Uh, yeah, um, how about we go to the ranch today? I don't really like animals all that much, honestly. Really? Mm. They're warm when you touch them, you know, but that's a little scary. It's kind of hard to guess what they'll do next as well. well. I'm better at games that use precise calculations where success and failure is determined by numerical values. But... It's hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. Maybe that has something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things Chiaki will hate, but it feels lonely just to leave her like this. How about we look at animals from far away? The ones on the ranch are pretty tame, so you could try and touch them if it looks safe. Okay. I think. If you teach me lots of things, it'll probably be okay, I think. Is she really relying on me? If so, that makes me very happy. Jack and I decided to walk on the ranch. Mm. Oh my, it's a cow. I wonder if it's going to dance like the ones in Dancing Eyes. Th that might be a little difficult. Maybe I should try touching it a little. Jackie walked with the cow and cautiously pet its back. The cow seemed not to mind, and it continued silently eating its grass. <laughs> wow, it's really warm. Well, that's because it's alive. Mm. I see. You're right. Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched that much. So, that makes it a lot easier for me. If you touch a person, something is born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, whatever it is. I'm nervous about that kind of thing. It makes me think I'm better off not doing any of that anyway. And that it's unnecessary. Like, it's better that if I just stay as if I just stay as an innocent bystander for as long as I can. Chiaki feel, his feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. I hope one day that she can touch not only cows, but people as well. Ah, uh, you know, if we milk this cow, I'm sure fresh milk will be tasty. Hey, hey. Milk this cow. Huh? Um, you know that milk comes from cows, right? What do you mean, from? Milk is milk, right? You know if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out. Like, you only need to one cow to get as much milk as you want. Huh? Huh? As much as you want. <laughs> but... If you cut up in a milk bo bottle, a cow comes out of it, right? And it dances, right? I knew it! It definitely is dancing eyes! Seriously, what kind of game is she talking about? I explained how cow's milk works to Chiaki in full detail. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? As usual, Chiaki is full of mysteries. Mm -hmm. 
Jackie started to feel sleepy from playing too much. Uh, after sending, so after sending her off, I returned to my room. Jackie had really no idea any of that. Okay. Looks like I have some free time. What should I do with that? I know we have free time. That's why we're talking Chiaki again. Chiaki, 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 Chiaki. Because honestly, I want to complete, like I said, I want to complete another line. I did not do that in DR1. I didn't end up completing anybody's lines. Super difficult. Hmm. How should I lure out Nagito? Acting sexy definitely will not work. What should I do? Um. Hey, hey. Um, what do you think I should do? Acting sexy definitely won't work. I spent time today with Chiaki thinking of ways to lure out Nagito. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. What, would you like to give Chiaki a present? Sure, we'll give her more water because she liked it last time. Mm. A present from Ayame. Ah, yep. oh, yeah, I'm actually really happy. Thank you. Hey, hey. Hey, where do you want to go today? This is the first time I've seen Chiaki look so interested. And she's not even sleeping. Maybe she was looking forward to this. Let's see. Why don't we check out the storage room in the old building? We might be able to find something interesting yep. there. Like Sokuban? That's a fun game to play. That's an old puzzle game where you have to push boxes in the warehouse to their assigned spots. Oh, I see. Let's go. Then let's win over Monami so we can go inside the storage room. Jackie bumped herself up, and after winning in the mon uh, over Monami, we went inside the storage room. Hmm. hmm. There's not a lot of, uh, not a lot you can push and pull. Don't tell me you were serious about playing Sokuban in the storage room. No wonder she seemed excited about coming here. Hey, hey. Hey, Hayame. Are you good at puzzles? Mm, nah, I'm only good at the one. I'm not that good at using my brain. You think so? Huh, really? Maybe you just don't like them because you haven't played that many. Well? You know, how to properly theorize in order to view things and you can calmly manage, then it's important. I feel like you do, you'd do. you be good at puzzle games once you get the hang of them. Huh? You really seem like that? That kind of embarrasses See? me. For example, Rubik's Cubes and Jigsaw Puzzles are puzzle games as well. Oh yeah, I remember putting together a lot of Jigsaw Puzzles when I was little. See? Yup, yup, yup. Then you already know the trick, right? The trick to Jigsaw Puzzles. Assemble from the outer pieces? Um, you assemble them from the outer pieces, correct? Yep. That's right. You first separate pieces with the edges. Yeah, 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 I did this with the actual puzzles too. Like, I would have, when I when I actually had, like, because I had, like, one of my favorite puzzles I did, it was tough as frick -a doodle but it was a 2,000-piece black and white um, puzzle. And so, like, and it was, like, a little, like, the little pieces, too. It wasn't, like, the big, gigantic gigantic pieces. But essentially, you, you, you would just, like, anything that could be an edge or that would fill as an edge would, um, would go on one side. And I even went as far as finding the corner pieces. Um, so I could place them in the correct corner. So that's where I would start, obviously, and then you continue from there. Afterwards, you separate the leftover by color. It makes putting together a lot easier. Exactly. So, in a black and white one, you cannot do that. I see. Now it feels like I'm putting one together since... Uh, now I've been putting one together since it's been such a long time. Mom. Uh, that reminds me. My father always programmed puzzle games. Your father is a programmer? Yep. Yep. Apparently, he was pretty manly when he was focused in front of the laptop. Mm. But I heard he couldn't solve a puzzle and I heard he couldn't solve a puzzle and he made it and it really depressed him. Since he hated losing, he actually went out of his way to write a separate program. And then he made the program to do stuff like brute force attack. Brute what? Um. Uh um It's a way of forcibly finding the answer. No worries though. It's normal for you not to know. I don't really understand, but it seems Chiaki also knows a little bit about programming. But more importantly, why does everything she say about her father sound like hearsay? Wouldn't that mean she didn't personally see it? Hey, hey. Ah, well, we should get back. We should get going and head back now. Yeah, you're right. Ah, huh? uh, ah, uh, huh? I quickly opened my arms and caught Chiaki as she fell into them. Are, are you okay? Thanks. Oh, how embarrassing. I've never tripped like that in my life before. She said that, and she stepped away from my chest. My heart sounded really loud. Of course it does. It's my heart. Oh, that surprised me. You're pretty hard, Hayame. Uh, um, uh, um, that is... <laughs> unlike me, your arms and chest are really built. You're definitely a boy. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, that's obvious. Uh, I'm glad you caught me. That means I'll be fine in the case of emergencies. Sleepy. Even if I suddenly get sleepy. I'll be fine, because you can carry me. 
Hey, don't sleep on me. Uh, Jackie's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. I desperately tried to keep Chiaki from falling asleep and walked her back to her room. Looks like it's starting to get dark again. The doorbell. Somebody's here. Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably someone like Sonia or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Now that I can help it, I mean, so much has happened. Not that I can help it. I mean, so much has happened since we've arrived at this island. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened my conscious door. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hayame. Nagito? Why, why are you here? Oh, boy. I don't like that you're here, Nagito. What are you doing here? Uh, you sure ask weird questions. That's not it. I mean, you guys have all the business with me, right? Huh? Well... Shiaki invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? He already found out about our plan. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? <laughs> but it's good timing. I have some business with you guys, too. You do? If everyone's already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. Hey. And if you want to come to the lobby, too, even though you are not directly involved with the plan, you even know that? I see. Just as I thought, you were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right? Since you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. Now, now. Oh, I'm only joking. <laughs> Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. Someone like me. Oh, you shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Oh, well. Let's hurry over to the lobby, then. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you guys are going to do to me. <laughs> when I, we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together. So let's go already. Fine, let's go. Yep. Yeah. I don't even know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. This is going to go over terribly, but it's fine. Hi, buddy. Um, yeah, nothing is wrong. I really don't want to go out here and do this, but whatever. I guess I have to. I don't have a choice. And now I'm going to go to the lobby, and then I'm going to be the one tackled on the ground, and it's going to be great. You know, if only Nekamaru was the one doing my tackling. If Chiaki has summoned Nagito, the plan has already started. Fuhiko and Akane should be waiting on inside Jeez. for Nagito. What happened, Hayame? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. <laughs> oh, you're a terrible actor. Oh, well. If you're going to slow down like that, then I'll go inside first. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. All right. I got him. Um, what are you doing? Don't judge us for this. But we're going to tie you up. <laughs> tie me up? There's no use struggling! But I'm not struggling. Huh? What? What the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin! The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island! And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. The air shook. An explosion of darkness overtook me, and I was, and I was able to see anything. It's probably... I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. Whoa, 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 what? going on are the words that left my mouth but they vanished before they even reached my ears they were drowned out by the sight of terrifying laughter I looked up and saw the source of that laughter of course it's Monokuma oh no it's not oh god <laughs> it's amazing these amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end it's over this is the end the killings are done for good. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice, while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now. 
And to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island. Wh what do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. Actual bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode, the force will be enough to wipe out this entire island. Well, what the hell are you saying? If you do that, of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed. But there's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Nagito, please stop! Uh, are you crazy or something? Yeah, it's Nagito. No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... My, my, this guy. Emergency. I'm totally shocked. Seriously, I'm totally shocked. That's all I can say about this turn of events. <laughs> the bombs I said are set to go off in two days at noon. I've prepared so many powerful bombs that the one that just exploded doesn't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up the entire island. Which means in two days at noon, this island is going to sink into the sea. Are you serious? Wow. Do you really think I'd go this far for a joke? You. Where? Where did you set him up? <laughs> I can't tell you. How about it? It'd be easy to leave your you on, on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. So how about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity to me, I'll tell them where I hid the bombs. Huh? Emergency! Whoa, whoa, what in the world is going on? Is everyone all right? Hey! Oh, come, come on, come on. on. Don't get in the way. Nagito was in the middle of weeding out the traitor. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Nagito, what are you planning to do? <laughs> um, do you, I really have to say it? It's no use. I mean, the traitor shouldn't be able to reveal their identity on their own. Why? Hmm? What does that mean? Do I really have to say it? Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Oh my, my. You guys are totally eyeing each other at the letting the sparks fly. I'm getting all hot and bothered. Don't just stand there. Why don't you try and stop him? Huh? Stop him? Why do I have to do that? The rules, remember? The same blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. If he blows up the entire island, that's going to kill way more than the two people. Mm. Oh, I see. You sure have a good memory. Like you said, if any student were to break that rule, I'd have to punish them severely. Right? But that's only when someone breaks that rule, right? You can't punish somebody for breaking their rule before they've broken it. That's right! Yep. Saying you're going to break the rules isn't against the rules. Too bad. So right now, there's nothing I can punish. What the hell? You're so stupid. Uh, punishment always happens afterward, uh, not before, silly. Uh, that's just the way the rules of society are, right? Hey. Uh, but even so, there's no need to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. This is exciting. It'll be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all the time we've spent together, I believe in you guys. <laughs> and more importantly than anything, I believe I'm the ultimate lucky student, right? So it's definitely going to be all right. After he said that, Nagito walked away. And just as he walked away, I couldn't even stop him. I felt afraid of Nagito. The madness emanating from Nagito's body was seeping into my bones. I never expected him to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Nagito is so reliable. I don't even have to do anything because he just keeps shaking things up. That bastard, I'll never forgive Damn him. Damn it. Is he freaking serious about those hey, bombs? Hey. As long as the trainer comes forward, he'll s say where the bombs are, right? Is that his goal? Damn it! Th then I'm begging you guys, it doesn't matter who does it, just someone has to come forward. I I'm begging you guys. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. What Nagito said yesterday, I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs my life. I finally understood what he meant now. Nagito took this entire island hostage and created a situation where the tra if the traitor has to come forward, that is Nagito's goal. But what happened? But what he's planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? He is—is is he really going to blow up the entire island? 
It's Nagito, of course he is, let's be honest. Of course. My motto is to do a good deed every day. When I was at the bar and shouted, Can I get a Sam? The female bartender of Happy Leaves answered, Sure thing. It makes me so happy when someone else is happy. Doing a good deed every day is awesome. But inside, that woman probably thought I was a loser, sitting alone in a cheap bar in the middle of the night. Dang, I can't write this crap up. Hey, sweet cheeks, give me another Sam. Huh? Not a Sam Adams. I'm obviously talking about Ross Salmon. And here's some good news for you. I have been imbued with a smell of a vanilla into the Magonicum of plushies. It is effective aromatherapy that'll definitely calm everyone's nerves if they get agitated. Available in the near future. <laughs> That's it for Monokuma Shopping Center. Ahem. Oh, good morning, everyone. Now then, let's show. I've been resting since the explosion yesterday, but my body still hurts. A dull metallic sound is ringing in my ears, and the back of my head feels hot. I can't think straight, but I can afford to spend the whole day resting. I am, Can I afford to spend the whole day resting? Because I immediately left my college. My cottage. Well, in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we are going to be tackling some craziness here, because, yeah, I cannot believe all that is going on right now. But, yeah, crazy stuff for sure. Love you all so very much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!